Headshot. Why don't you tell me to close my eyes before you do this? You saw me take an aim. No, I didn't because my eyes were closed and I opened <laughs> them just as you shot. Oh, well, then it's not my fault then. It is your fault. You took the necessary steps for precaution and then just threw them at the well, wind. I figured you'd be done. <gasps> A big hole. How do you sleep at night? Uh, with melatonin and good manga to read beforehand. You want to go in the devil's gullet? No, I don't want to go in the... But there might be a cool loot. All right, let's go, but be quick about it. Let me save first. Just be careful. See, Ooh. and here you'll go anywhere, but in the real world, you won't go anywhere. That's because there's no threat of violence in the real world. That's not what I meant to say. I can't get <laughs> Who hurt. Who are you? I don't know. I'm <laughs> I'm a man in the wasteland just trying yeah, to make it Yeah, you are a man in the wasteland. Is there nothing in the devil's gullet? Doesn't look like it. This is just a boring little hole. Yeah, that's what it is. Now we can't get out. We're stuck forever. No, we forever. can get out. But look, more ammo. Is there a cave I'm missing? Are we going to get yelled at, at the co in the comments for missing something? Probably. But that's just it. Let's see what else this wasteland world has to offer. Now well, that we can so run. Far, it's just death. A lot of death. I mean... This isn't my idea of a vacation. Let me tell you that right now. Well, if you went into the Mojave Desert post-apocalyptic... I have no desire to go to the Mojave Desert. Not even now? Not even after this Especially AAA now. experience? No, where I want to go is a beach. And I'm thinking I'd like to try the beaches in Mississippi. Dog gonna die. Uh-oh, you better watch out. Ooh, what's... what's are we getting shot? What the... Cr oh, who are you? Oh, it's a powder ganger. Those powder gangers. Yeah, shoot his arm off. Yeah, take that, buddy. And take that, buddy. Yeah, we'll show you who's boss of this here desert. Ooh, you're gonna sleep on that nasty mattress? Yeah, we're gonna sleep here for 16 hours. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if this is gonna heal when me When was the last not. time you showered? In the game or in real life? Because both answers are bad. I just took a shower. I'm she did. fresh as a daisy. She smells amazing. Thank you. She smells like... Clean. I smell clean. Picture... Oh, yeah. Heal, sleeping does heal us. Sweet. She smells like a candle. I'm not going to say what kind of candle. Okay. But she smells like a candle. Well, that's a good thing. Thank you. Uh, back at my old job before I quit like a boss, um, yeah. there was a candle that I had to put away. And I always smell the candles before putting them away because I'm awesome. That's what I would do, too. And this one candle was supposed to be like cinnamon vanilla. Okay. But guess what it smelled like? Poop. Nothing. There Nothing. was no That's scent. That's worse. And... No scent at all? Not one what bit. What a ripoff. Exactly. So I walked up to my boss and I was like, does this count as damaged goods? If a candle don't smell good... And well, I ain't doing what a candle goods. is supposed that's to be. Goods. Did she damage it? She did, but she was very confused. She was like, I have never stumbled upon this problem. Uh, Just damage it out. And we did. Well, thank goodness, because that wouldn't have been fair to the person who bought it, lit it, was waiting for the magical healing power of scent to get nothing. We got squirrel on a stick. Ooh, we're eating good tonight. Yee-hee. <laughs> Light up the barbecue, man. We're going to get squirrel on a stick, man. Yee-hee. <laughs> Now, okay, this is a good story. Um, my, uh, my best coworker, myself, and another delightful coworker were eating lunch together. Uh huh. And my best coworker has a hearing problem, legit. And she thought she heard the other guy say he was having <laughs> possum for lunch. Yeah. But what he was actually having is pasta. Well, I thought that was the most hilarious thing I've ever heard in my life. It is the hilarious So thing. for Christmas, I got him possum-flavored <laughs> candy canes. So I give them to him, and they smell terrible, and no one will lick it. And I said, all right, I, I'm a real woman. Give me one of them there possum sticks. I licked it. It was the most disgusting <laughs> thing. It was terrible. You showed those dorks. Well, no, not really. <laughs> nah, you were, you were willing to ah. experiment. I did, but I'd never eat another one. Ooh, oh, trooper. boy. So if someone tries to buy you a possum candy cane, you Take say, it. no, thank you. Oh, don't yeah, say no. No, thank you. Oh, don't be don't be throwing that dynamite at my boy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, ain't no way, uh -uh. no how. Don't you do it. This gun don't, sucks. Oh. We're I need to get in this game. I need to get in this game. Let me in this man. game. You don't want to serve. You said you didn't want to go here. Well, if he's going to be throwing dynamite at you, I need to get in there. I can survive dynamite, Ma. 
All right. Oh, we leveled up. That'd be fun to tap dance on, that metal. That That's the, definitely the first thing that came to my mind. Ah, they're throwing dynamite. What's, What's wrong with, with these you? these people in the dynamite? Stop with the dynamite. Well, they are the powder gangers. Oh, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? I want to tap dance on their roof. The note reads, Some of the fellas farther north are trying to organize. We're starting to think it's a good idea. Got to pull some resources if we're going to survive out here. That's what I've been saying all along. <laughs> sure you've noticed the decline in travelers. They're getting pretty wise. So should we. You know, it doesn't say anything about pretty in there, right? Well, I just like to try and see you, the best in people. You like to and add you some color, not. colorful verbiage. Yeah. <gasps> we can finally cook a gecko steak. Wee-ha. I'm going to sleep again. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. That's not nice to say to your mother. You called me disgusting and well, I'm your son. Different. How that's How is it different? We're family members calling each other disgusting. It's the same thing. Not really. Yeah, yes, really. I've been alive a lot longer than you have. What is that supposed to mean? I can do basically whatever I want now because I've been alive longer than you. You have to earn the right. You're you want, not there yet. You want to know what that sounds like? What? That sounds like boomer talk. It is. I'm a boomer. I'm the last generation of the boomers. I'm the last of the boomers. I am the last of the boomers. Some days I wake up. I'm going to shoot a dog just so you know. Oh, wait, no. This was a nice dog. Hi, puppy. So was the last one you killed. This one's a domesticated dog. A domesticated? Domesticated dog. And I shoot the ones that aren't domesticated. Does anybody really sleep on those nappy mattresses? What That's else so are you going to sleep on? They ain't got tempur here. Well, I'm sure they have a tempur store somewhere. Mom, the nukes went off. I don't think there's any tempur stores. You don't have to take that tone with me. You're right. I'm in the wrong. I'm glad you could see that. As usual. Whoa. Oh, was that water? That's a glitch. I got shot through the wires. I'm going away now. I got scared. I'm sorry. I can't be entertaining when I'm getting shot. Well, some people might find that entertaining. So far, this has been nothing but us shooting powder ganger heads off. Not complaining. I'm enjoying it. Well, I'm not enjoying it, but I'm glad that you're not dead. <laughs> My name is the Lorax. I speak for the trees. Except for those ones. They begged on their knees. Did you know that my family was part of the of the Biggs train robbery? Yes, I did. But go on. Well, apparently, we are super geniuses. And we were really poor. <laughs> and so we decided to do the great train robbery. And we robbed a train. Of, like, lots of gold. Did we get away lots. with it? Yeah, we did. Oh, sweet. I think that I would probably get on everybody's nerves because I want to sleep on a clean mattress. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're going to be that one old lady that's like, why can't we just rent a hotel? And that everyone's like, you robbed a be bank, me. old lady. That's going to be me. And she's the first one to get arrested and everyone's okay with it. No, actually, um, what will happen in this tale of woe is that the police yeah. will be so charmed by me that they'll say, you know, you really didn't have any other option, did you? And I'll be like, no, officer. With tears in I your eyes. I respect eye. the law. I didn't want to have to do this. Does anybody really want to have to turn to a life oh, of crime? You poor thing. And they'll say, oh, you poor little thing. You're already in your 60s. We're just going to let you go with a warning. You're Keep the money. You obviously need it. And then they pull out their wallets and are like, here's even more. And I'll be like, oh, you boys are so nice. You boys oh. in blue are not so rude. You know what? We're going to give you half our money. No, man, we insist you. No, I got to give you something. Consider well, you could give us you. each a little kiss on the cheek. I'd say, well, let me get my lipstick on. My, and I would kiss <laughs> each and every one of their cheeks. My three. Their face cheeks. I was going to say every single one that's. Getting into Only dangerous territory. Only their face cheeks. Not their butt cheeks. No butt cheeks. Not their sandy cheeks action figures. No, their actual facial cheeks. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Look how fast that <laughs> thing was moving! They're way easier than the blue ones so far. Oh, God, that was... I doubt the baby was the only one, and then I saw the mom <laughs> running after you. Ooh. I doubt the baby. That'd be like me going after someone that's trying to kill you. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I could move that fast. Oh, do you remember the time the the um 
quote unquote undercover police at Walmart thought I stole something. Yes, I do. And they just followed our us through the entire store. Yeah, they had you guys scared to death. We, me, my brother, and one of his friends were just walking around Walmart, and I had my Game Boy on me, and these people saw us like slip it into my pocket because like you know, college age guys. Oh, I thought they were older. No, but yeah. You know you're a bad undercover officer when three like <laughs> ten year olds can pick you out and know they're you're being you're following them. Yes. So we walked around the store very strategically and found our mother. And did they confront you or did you confront them? I confronted them. It's like, well, screw you guys. You weren't even going to stop us. Well, I I told the boys to get behind me, and we started following them in the store, and they didn't like it. Nope. So they went to the front of the store, and then they parted ways. And so I was telling the greeter. You've got some people in here that are following kids through the store. And so then they peeked their heads around the corner. And I'm like, yeah, those two. And she said, oh, no, those are our undercover officers. So I motioned for them to come see me. And I said, first of all, you do not follow children through a store, especially when they go to their mother. That's when you should have come to me to tell me that you thought there was an issue. Yeah. Second of all, if you have an issue... Let's have it out right here. No, no, it's fine. I said, no, I need to know <laughs> what you think was going on. Boys, empty your pockets. So the friend op- empties his, nothing. Hunter opens his, the Game Boy, and they're like, oh, we thought he was shoplifting. You don't it's sell like, Game Boys at Walmart. Yeah, and that was a really old series one. Yeah. So, And then Hayden started crying because he had peppermints <laughs> in his pocket that he had taken from my workplace. They were set out for you to take them. And he thought he was in trouble <laughs> for that. They Poor chased baby. him all the way to Walmart. Poor baby. But anyway, <laughs> don't mess with my kids. That's all I got to say. I'm not afraid. And then their friend is like, you are the coolest mom ever. 